She's only giving us 10 minutes of talk, but if she's not feeling the vibe, she will hang up right away. If she is feeling the vibe, then she'll talk over time. Can you believe this princess bitch? Can you believe her? I love Mariah Carey. You know what? That's she, something you would do. She has earned the right to ask for every one of these damn things. Doesn't mean we're going to oblige. Oh, wait, she's on the phone right now. Right? Excellent. Bring that biatch up here. If the, if the interview goes good, she'll shop with me. She'll come to Philly and do whatever. And so make it good so that she'll actually come here. All right, everybody, you're going to hear a lot of behind kissing because right. I think it's more interesting to have. <laughs> Let's make this go smoothly. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the star of all music, Mariah Carey. Miss Carey. Hello. Hi, hi Mariah. Hi, Mariah. Hi, Wendy. So, Mariah, I have a Who list. Who else am I talking to? Colby well, Cole. Yeah, Colby's here, too. Hi, Colby. Hey, Mariah. How you doing? We're doing well. Me and Mariah. We Mar go back like babies who pacify. <sighs> Mariah, he got what? he got like four years in jail. Uh, what happened with this? Well, okay. So back in 99, he was stopped by the cops in New York, uh, old DB, and because he ran a red light, they found weed in the car, and then right. upon further search, they found 20 vials of crack. Oh, no. So then they put him out, say they put him in jail, and he's just basically been waiting. So they sentenced him the other day for, for three years, and then after he does that three years, he's got to go out to California and serve another three and a half years. In the meantime, his wife of 16 years is worried for him because he's not the same. He tried to commit suicide the other what? day by slashing his wrist. What? Yeah, your man is in a bad state. And, and Mariah, See, you know what? I was just, I was trying to, now this is going to sound really and totally irrelevant, mm -hmm. but like I was trying to see... I had another concept for the video, and I wanted him to be in the video doing something funny for this new video, but right. then we changed the whole concept. And I was trying to see if I could just get him out. I didn't know where exactly he was, like what type of facility or what was going to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm like thinking, oh, who knows? Maybe I could pull some strings. And then they're like, well, no, because whatever. There there were other situations where we could. Yeah. But um, I'm sorry that that happened to him. And yeah. I, I hate that this industry, like... I don't know. You, you never know. You never know what the truth is. We so, just don't know. So how have you been managed to stay out of trouble? Yeah, Mariah. Because I'm a good girl, whether people want to believe it or not. Whether I wear hot shirts in a video or not, I'm still Mary Poppins Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah, um, I understand you were very apprehensive about this interview. When I got here this morning on my desk, there was a note about a mile long saying what you didn't want me to ask you about. You used to hate on me. No. Nope. Let's keep it real. Mariah, I never hated on you. <laughs> Mariah, you we've retired the word hate from now on because yep. everyone says it. We so hate that we word. We don't want to hate. Well, you, about if you hate anymore. the word, how can you, how can you have retired it? No, we're telling you that we retired. Yeah, we're not. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. No, you know, Wendy, being that I grew up in New York. Yes. And being how controversial you are with certain artists. Yes. And being how you did used to kind of, we won't say hate, kind of have issues with me. Uh-huh. Um, and a lot of uh, other people. Yeah. You know, most people I know, they're, they maybe wouldn't call up, right? They, yeah, they avoid me like the plague. P.S. Foxy Brown is in her limo now on her way to the studio. Okay, cool. So I'm like, okay, but for me, it's a little different because... Whatever. But the situation is, <laughs> we, we, we talked about, um, like, doing a pedicure thing. With the girls. And, yeah, something like, I know the type of things that you like. Yes. Whatever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, but, um... You're not going to come to Philly if this interview right here doesn't go well. Yeah, but then you're going to try and, like, make this a good interview and then get me to Philly and pull some nonsense? You know my style. <laughs> no, Mariah, let me just say this about you, and the listeners will back me up. Okay. I kiss your behind. What? She, does, I, she does love you a lot. I mean, I, she Mariah, here's why I love you. I love you because you entered this industry. You overcame that racism, whatever the crap was going on. Mm -hmm. I cried with you when you were on Oprah. I cried with you. I couldn't stop crying. I felt like an idiot crying, but you know what? I felt I, like an idiot crying in a, in a room by myself crying with you. You know what? It really needed to be said, and I, I'm thankful that Oprah did that show because that show helped me. Mariah, and one of the things I like about you also, this is, uh, you know, because you have Camp Mariah, it's been consistently your Camp Mariah. You didn't just open it for one season and then close it up. I do believe you care about your young fans. I do believe that. I do care about them, and I care about the kids at that camp. And one of the reasons is, like, I go visit a lot of different types of camps, whatever. This particular camp, is all, they're all kids from the inner cities that maybe would never see outside their own city block. You know what I mean? Yes. And these kids all want to be at this camp, and the camp is a career awareness camp. So I've brought a lot of, like, different friends from radio or behind-the-scenes things, and you can, they can learn about things that they want to maybe do in the future. Like, it's not just, I want to be a singer, right. I want to be a rapper, I want to be, like, a star. You can work in the industry behind the scenes. Yes. So, like, they also have fun at the camp, but all these kids are very, very grateful, and I find that when things aren't handed to you on a silver platter, you tend to be more grateful. Yes. A lot of people think I had like this white picket fence existence as a child. No. I did not. 
So I'm very grateful for everything that I have. And the other thing is, like, in terms of rumors, mm -hmm. you know, we all know that the question has always been for a long time, how do rumors get started? And the answer was, started by jealous people. This is why I love her, because she's a genuine... <laughs> oh, but it's true. They get mad seeing something they had and somebody else is holding. And you know wow. something? <laughs> That's, you just heard you her hit say... hit a Club Nouveau on her. She's got the, she and Whitney Houston have the best vocals in all of the world, and yeah. I've always said that. You're, Thank you. We love Whitney. Yes. And, um, and you know, rumors, all oh, the other... There's so many rumors. It's not even worth discussing the rumors, because I'll just tell you one that you might find funny, Wendy. <laughs> okay. The new one is, the new joke joke of the day, is that I don't walk on carpeting. I oh. refuse to walk on a carpeted floor. I said, how in the Sam Hill do I get from the chair to the... To no, the, I never heard that one. Oh, that's a new well, you, one. Well, you have carpet in your, con in your uh, condo. Um, carpet in my... Uh, it's, yeah, actually, yeah. I do. I, my, I, I got denied from every board. Yes, I heard. Yeah, and all yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah, but the new rumor for, from, from what I'm hearing is that you beat down Mira Servino after you hit her in the head with a salt shaker. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah, Mariah, you don't have to address that. I choose to believe that you won the fight. Hell now, yeah. let me just tell you something. She's an Academy Award winning actress and I was very happy to work with her, but my, people might not know this. My brother's a fifth degree black belt, right? Okay. And he used to make me punch him in the stomach and do roundhouse kicks, right? So, like, if I were to throw something in a fight, it wouldn't be a salt shake. It would be a punch or a kick. Okay. And okay. it'd be two hits. <laughs> See, uh, exactly. I believe that Mariah could fight. Mariah, you get up. I'm Mariah. a nice person. <laughs> Mariah. But when they push me to the limit, you see, I, when I give so much of myself, mm -hmm. yes. there was, there's no drama. I love everybody. And the thing is, when I do, like, now that I'm doing movies, I go out of my way not to be a diva because I already know that's what they're going to say. Yes. Yeah. And so, you know, there's, there's no salt shaker. There's no nonsense. You still run the streets along? Island now? Um, she limos those streets. <laughs> you know what? I, 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 I'm actually going to, to do an in-store tomorrow. Right, that's what I hear. You going Out of the home? Roosevelt Mall. The Roosevelt Field, yeah. yeah. And um, what I'm doing is I'm bringing some of the kids from the camp there because in Look case I don't get a chance to go up there. Go ahead, girl. Look I like this. to bring them. I brought them on BET the other day. Like, they broke the rules. It was really nice. I saw you on BET with those poom poom shorts sitting there. Woo! When? Not yesterday. I'm talking about the first day I went on. Oh, is that when you, you sh they showed the video with, you, with Longhead being in one of your videos from back in the day? You are crazy. Does, you, do you, you know who I was talking about? Don't diss him. I hate to interject, but we've got to get Mariah into this. No, we have, well, can we discuss Damn. that lover boy? Because, yes. okay. Wendy, all this is all well and good, but we need the people to know. Okay, that, that you have the new the new CD out. The new single, single. Lover Boy. And I want to say something about Cameo. Okay. They re sang those parts for me. Candy. You might as well play it as a music bed. Can you throw it on for me? Uh. Wow. <laughs> they re sang. Can, can you can you can you hit that one? I know you got up there in the studio. Colby's not making a move. I don't, I have Colby, to find come it. on. I gotta find it. But look, Mariah. Right, while, while we while we talk, cause they, so they can wrap it up. Let me just say this: They came back in, and as a fan of of Cameo, they re sang those vocals, and I'm just sitting there because Clark DJ Clark Kent, who I know you know Wendy. Mm -hmm. Um, we were doing that record together, and. He had to go DJ for the Super Bowl, uh -huh. and um, so I'm sitting there just with my friend Marianne, who's a singer that lives in Brooklyn, and we both grew up on like loving Cameo. We're like, they're actually re-singing <laughs> one of the best classics of all time, <laughs> and then he incorporated my lyric on the all night long, wow, strawberry. So I'm just like, wow, you know, I've come a long way. And Mariah. P.S. I love the boots in the video. You like those boots? Love them, and I love your look. Now, a lot of people <laughs> have you. said, why is she taking off all of her clothes like that? But this is what I say, Mariah. Mm -hmm. You were the princess all covered up in that gilded cage for so long. You right. already proved to us that you know how to sing. Right. Now it's time to have fun. You are a 20-something-year-old woman, and you're single. And this is what I always tell the listeners. Anything that I read about you as far as romances and stuff, mm -hmm. I always say, go, Mariah. Enjoy your single life. Enjoy your money. And, and get it. And but you know what? You also know, because I know from certain things, that I'm not a promiscuous person. I believe that. And I also believe that you are not a lesbian. Which, what? Is that, that the new one? No, it's not the new one. But people have questioned your relationship with Brat. Oh, and I, please. And I Brat's one of the most real people I've ever met. Yes. She's one of the coolest people I know. And you know what? I don't even want to hear any rumors about her. Because, uh, you know, whatever. I'm not even going to go into that. Yeah, I believe that you all are good friends. I bet you she's as good a friend to you as Trey Lorenz, right? Yes, she is. Oh. Yeah. Trey Lorenz is Lorenz? one of the best people under the sun. He's yeah. one of the best people I know. But, um, and, and what you said about being all covered up, because you, I know we don't use the word hater, uh -huh. but you were one of the ones that used to criticize me for, like, always being covered up. And I was like, you know, I wish Wendy understood this ain't my choice. I understand now. Yeah, yeah. When, you, when your first album came out, though, you was really covered up. Really covered Vision up. And that was before your breast implants and oh, everything please, like that. Wendy, honey, don't even... 
Don't even I make really me start cursing uh -oh. because <laughs> you're just saying stuff that ain't true. Because also I wasn't. I was also forced to wear certain garments oh, back in those days. Oh, is that it? Let's just say that. Hey, Mariah. Okay? We gotta go. Mariah, we gotta go. Mariah, Mariah I ain't studio. coming to see you now that you threw no, that. No, I was gonna say, Mariah, that comment's not gonna stop you from coming, <laughs> is it? The audience is gonna believe that shit. No, leap that one, Wendy. Uh, All right, I.